truth behind Project Zoika is still out of reach. The informant, Brower, wasn't able to uncover what it was before his capture, but he has a lead. A supply outpost in Siwa, frequented by Valen. We don't know if he'll be there, but the man likes to have everything precisely ordered. Valen will have every detail planned out, scheduled, written down. All I have to do is find it. Brower has been useful. He's given me the locations of Valen's office and the German storehouses. There are also some good sniper positions across the town and rumors of an old smuggler's entrance. It's going to be tight on the ground, but somewhere in this town, I will find what we need. Alright, so what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode on, and welcome to the next episode of our Sniper Elite 3 Let's Play. Definitely something that we're still trying to work on. Very interesting when it comes down to the gameplay, as well as the graphics. I mean, just look at the grass. This is very impressive for a game of this configuration. So nonetheless, definitely going to be hitting up the right-hand side. I feel like it's better to kind of not try to stay in the middle of the map, considering that that's usually where most of the infantry units kind of lie. And I feel like we can be a little bit more stealthy and a little bit more tactical if we take the right-hand side of this map, as well as just the edge of the map by itself. So we're going to continue to move up. As you guys can see, an anti-air up there kind of lighting some stuff up. Looks like a plane just flew adjacent to our soldiers. So definitely it's going to be giving us a little bit of an indication that we'll be using that to mask our rifle noise if we decide to go loud. And nonetheless, it looks like a couple of infantry walking around, so definitely a lot in store when it comes down to killing potential, as well as hopefully not trying to alert everybody. So I think I'm going to use our silence pistol for a majority of the mission, but only time will tell. I guess it depends on if we get spotted, and if so, how many people decide to want to test my luck. That was a pretty neat kill cam. Right through the neck, it looked like for the most part, so... That dude is going to be dead, so we don't have to worry about him coming back, hopefully as a zombie. Nonetheless, if he does come back, I guess we'll be ready for him in the next installation. So we're going to kind of walk up here. I presume there's going to be a soldier right around the corner just from the mini-map. Shoot him in the head real quick. And it looks like we can use these frag grenades to take this out without having to do a lot more work. Alright, so that's been taken care of, not too bad. Their dead bodies are actually talking, so that's interesting. Let's see if we can try to get this guy up here. I almost missed that shot, to be honest with you guys. But nonetheless, we're going to continue to move up, switch over to the rifle. There is a guy right there that we will have to take care of, considering that, well, as you can see, he has a launcher that will really mess us up if he sees us, let alone fires it. Currently waiting for this plane to fly overhead. This dude has been taken care of, so we don't have to worry about him. And nonetheless, a dude in the middle. And it looks like a guy over there as well. So, definitely a lot of people that we need to worry about. But I think for the current moment, I'm going to try to be stealthy and not try to alert everybody. At least at this current time. So, hopefully a plane will fly over so I can kill this guy. But it seems like we're going to be just cutting the edge of it, though. Alright, so I guess we'll swift over to this guy. Hopefully he'll spot the body, maybe do some investigation over it, and if that's the case, we should be able to kill the other guy pretty easily, though. We could shoot him in the leg, but unfortunately I don't think that would be the best option. He should be able to see that. There he goes. So let's just kind of hope that this plane comes back overhead pretty quickly. I would really like to shoot this dude in the face, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be granted that opportunity. He might start running away. Unfortunately, his time has come to die, so we're going to splatter his guts all over that wall there, which is actually pretty gruesome if you think about it, but nonetheless, 
Uh, let's climb down this ladder really quick and activate this generator over there because we do need to continually mask our rifle. And if we don't, well, unfortunately, consequences do commence. Looks like another infantry unit over there. I'm going to quickly kill this guy as quick as possible. I don't really want to have him sneaking up behind us or anything. Alright, so we're going to just kind of kick this generator. An interesting way to make it malfunction, but nonetheless, still can't worry about that too much. Now we're going to continue to move up. Looks like there is an objective not too far from us on our right hand side, so we're going to try to sneak over there and disable whatever we need to do. It looks like an anti-air unit. Looks like there's a guy also up in that tower. Need to be very careful of him. He could pose a huge threat when it comes down to the completion of this mission. Alright, I should be able to throw this grenade without any issues. Oh no, this could be bad. Oh, he's gonna flank, isn't he? Alright, so... Not too bad, it looks like. I am slightly concerned about where people are currently located, but nonetheless, I think we're okay. Let's try to reposition and get out of here, because we're kind of boxing ourselves in, and we want to go back to an all-clear status, because that will definitely make things a lot easier. Alright, we're going to go back crouched here really quick, try to inch our way out of here without alerting everybody that we are currently here. Oh no, we've been located again. Alright, so I'm going to start running. Trying to get us as clear and as far away from this objective as possible. We need to really wait for that all clear sign to come through. There we go. Alright, so relocation was successful, which is definitely really good news to hear. However, it looks like we do have some infantry units up here that I am going to have to be very careful of. I can't be too overly aggressive, otherwise we could alert a lot more players. No way that did not hit them. Alright, so hopefully they'll get worried and come back over here because I really need to kill them without the struggle of having to deal with a lot more stuff. Looks like the other guy went around or did something weird. I think he's actually going to come back, so I don't really need to worry too much about this. He should come back around the corner. I believe he's on the other side of this wall. And if that is the case, then we just kind of poke out and snipe him right in the face. But hopefully that is what's going on. Yep. There we go. Not too shabby. So let's kind of move back up here really fast and see what lies up ahead. Looks like we do have the objective up here. So definitely no matter how you look at it, we need to go this way. Yes, them. Turns out they aren't happy with Valen's portraits everywhere or his grand base in the mountains. One of them is off to Berlin tonight with Valen's precious notebook. Which one is going? Ich weiß nicht. I overheard them arranging a meeting later, perhaps to decide who gets to present the notebook as proof. I should look 
for someone who hurt their hand ransacking this place. <laughs>